My name is Matthew Markham. I make snowballs for a living. I've been making snowballs for a living for uh, about a year and a couple months now. Um, we do have a storefront, and it's on Rosewood Drive in Columbia, South Carolina. The snowball making process, um, it can go anywhere from, from making the ice to making the flavors, but uh, basically you've got a big old block of ice um, that you're putting on a very sharp, fine blade, and it's just barely scraping off the, uh, the ice uh, to, to make it real feathery. Uh, you catch it in a cup, pour a little flavor on it, top it, and uh, that's all there is to it. Every day we could see anywhere from 250 to 350 people. I mean, it just depends on how many snowballs I get in order. The business has blown up uh, in the past year, just like we couldn't even believe. I mean, with the college, you know, uh, being right there, spreading the word for us as well. Um, we got, we had uh, the state do a newspaper or article on us last year. We had Free Times do a couple on us. Um, we had uh, News Channel 19 do a couple stories on us. So free publicity that way, we've blown up pretty quick. The average age range is all over the place. I mean, we've got three-year-olds that love these things, and I have a six-year-old guy that rides his motorcycle up here every day and gets a snowball, so it's, it's literally any age. I love what I do very much. It's a fun job, and there's no other profession that I know of where you can work for seven months and then get four months paid off, so it's, it's a pretty sweet deal. When we have people that they'll come some twice a day, uh, your college kids that are seniors, um, you got a lot of the soccer moms that come up, and, and I'll get to know them on a first-name basis pretty quick. There are definitely plenty of people that, that I get to know. Even if I don't know their name, I see their face so much that I know their flavor, and they come up and I've already got the snowball made for them. <laughs> and it's just like, oh, you know, Avalanche Cherry's in line. Go ahead and get it ready. You know, and I, I couldn't tell you her name, you know, for anything, but uh, she's a nurse and she likes the Avalanche Cherry, sometimes a little pink bubble gum, you know, stuff like that. So, there's, I mean, there's, there's got to be at least 100 or 200 people just like that that come up every single day or every other day.